So today we're going to continue uh, talking through the independent tests of difference uh, and we're going to see what happens when those assumptions that we talked about don't go to plan and uh, we have to use something else. Uh, so in this example here, uh, the researcher is interested if there's any difference in life satisfaction between cat and dog owners. Uh, so firstly we need to assume that um, the, cat, the, the cat and dog owners are separate so they don't have, so a one person can't have a dog or and a dog, that it's either a cat or a dog, and we're trying to see if there's any significant difference in your life satisfaction if you have a cat or a dog. Uh, so yeah, we so this is why um, it's still an independent test because having a dog does not affect uh, your life satisfaction on having a cat. So we're testing different uh, different people, so that's why it's independent. So if we jump into Jamovi. Uh, so here we have our group variables, we have cats and uh, dog owners. Uh, you can see we have more cat owners than dog here, so that may uh, prove uh, to have, a, have an effect on the, on the data. So it's always good to, before you jump into Jamovi, have an idea of what you're testing and what you're looking for. Uh, because it's really easy to just follow uh, tutorials, um, putting data into Jamovi and getting numbers and reporting them. but and then for your um, kind of extra work, it's, re it's really important to know uh, what you're actually doing. Um, so yeah, here we're trying to see if there's a, so what we're doing here is we're trying to see if there's a difference in um, the results uh, for these, for life satisfaction, and the life satisfaction of dog owners. So we're not looking at uh, animal liking at all in this example. So if we jump into our independent test, so we're looking at life satisfaction again and we're sorting by animal type. Uh, so you can see here we got our statistics, but first let's check out, uh, so if this was normally we, uh, you saw that uh, question here, and you thought, okay, we're doing a test of difference. Um, so firstly, you always assume you're kind of doing an independent sample t test, um, and you check your assumptions. So here we can really see we've got a problem of normality, because P is, um, so this normally, what we would we what we want to expect um, is to have this p value above 0 0.05, but in this case it's below. Uh, similarly, we also for, because this is an independent test, we also check for homogeneity, uh, and this is sound. But um, if at least one of these assumptions isn't met, we have to uh, scrap the independent t test and perform something called the man we knew. Uh, and if you were doing a de dependent test. Um, you don't need to look at this homogeneity, just the normality. Um, so here, because this p-value is below, uh, we can't continue with our normal um, t-test. So if we untick those, so then what happens when you don't meet one of the assumptions? You tick off the student and you tick the man we knew, and you get this man we knew uh, u statistic and a p-value. So we can see our data here is significant. So um, because this is the p-value is below 0 0.05 we know that our difference is statistically significant. So it can get a bit confusing with checking assumptions. So we want the, these p-values to be above 0 0.05 and we want this one to be below. So remember, keep that in mind. So uh, we're going to check the mean difference here. And because this is a non-parametric equivalent, um, whereas the student's t is parametric, and this difference here is actually the the median. So when we report parametric tests, we report the mean and the standard deviation. But because it's a non-parametric, um, the mean doesn't really tell us much. Uh, so therefore, we use the median and the range to give us more of an idea of what the data is representing. And so, and this is because here we can see that the normality assumption is not that, meaning that the data isn't normally distributed. So if we have a mean, that really doesn't tell us much because the data is all over the place. Um, so that's why we report the median. Uh, so then, as same as the thesis, we add our uh, difference and confidence intervals, and we can also add an effect size, which is Pearson's R for non-parametric, um, and D for parametric equivalent. Uh, and V for chi-square, but we'll get to that uh, in due course. So we've got this, we've got nearly everything that uh, we need to report. Uh, let's also add some descriptive. 
Um, so annoyingly, um, in this case, um, Jamovi doesn't actually give you the range um, for the median, but you can easily report um, me, uh, the median and variance uh, or something like that. So now we have pretty much everything that we need. Uh, so we've got statistic, p-value, mean difference, confidence intervals, our effect size, and our descriptors here. So what can you, what can you uh, also do if you want the median? You can go exploration here. And descriptives, pop in your life satisfaction and animal type. Um, you don't need any of this because all we're interested in is uh, Y usually report for non parametric is range and I median. So you've got them here. So if we jump into uh, the word and see how we could report. So what I did, it doesn't matter how you word this, but I wrote life satisfaction levels. Uh, if we split this. Um, get our results up here so we've got life satisfaction levels in cat uh, in cat people so people who are in cats we've got a median here of 46 and our range of 50 and uh, was significantly significantly because this p-value is below 0 0.05 uh, was significantly different from dog favored people so 65 and 35 and because I've already defined them here there's no need to write it again um, then, so as you notice here, um, this difference of minus 19 isn't the difference between 60.7 and 39.6, it's actually the difference between the med medians. So uh, again, so this difference of 19, um, and then our confidence interval 95, so you have a 28 and minus 12, uh, then our u, 10.5, our minor u statistic, and our p-value. Uh, and this was seen uh, to have a large effect size of R0.82. Uh, so what we've basically done here is said, we looked at the data and we found that there is a significant difference between um, owning uh, life satisfaction, owning a cat or a dog. So it seems to be that dog favored people, uh, sorry, dog owners uh, have greater life satisfaction than cat people. Uh, but I'll beg to disagree because I like cats. Uh, so that was the Manweet U test, so the non parametric equivalent um, of the independent samples test. So if we think of independent uh, and dependent t tests, then we have non parametric for um, independent, that's your Manweet U, and for dependent is your Wilcox and Rank, which we'll go over in the next video. But it's very much similar to this. Um, yeah, basically report the same same data except this statistic here changes. So yeah, thank you for watching.